Thank you for having me. I'm Jim Douglas from uh, Shelbyville, Indiana, and we no-till uh, probably 80% of our soybeans and 60% of our corn. I don't see any uh, additional challenges except, you know, we're going into the spring extremely dry, and uh, other than that, everything seems normal, but uh, extremely dry. That could change in a minute, you know what I mean? But right now, when you look past the planting season, it looks like we possibly could be really short on moisture. And here it is in February, and we've had some 70 degree days. Just not normal. You can't do anything <laughs> for dry weather. But, uh, you know, it would be an early planting season with these kind of temperatures and uh, dryness. The crop will go in potentially a month early. Reminds me of 2012. You know, but our, our cover crop, crop did not get established last fall and see a 10 of it this spring, you know, it was so dry last fall, we didn't get uh, a stands. So a lot of times that'll germinate through the winter and springtime, but we've had a dry winter and uh, I don't know just what we're going to end up with. But yes, we would, we would plant right into that. No, you know, the, the, the number one benefit that you can see instantly is erosion control, you know, on, on a cover crop situation. Uh, undoubtedly, uh, soil health is, is down the road, but erosion control is immediate. From, from now on, this next year, we will mechanically seed the, the crop. We've been aerial seeding it and a little var more variable on the sand. But uh, this fall and going forward, we're going to mechanically seed the crop. That's our plan. We have uh, livestock there in hogs, and so we put on a lot of manure, and therefore we work the ground after that application of manure. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah that is for the corn acres. And then we uh, tile ditch some, and after we do, do the tile ditching, we'll typically work that, so we're making a, a pattern to get through and tiling all the farms.